Senator Antonio Trilliana sets foot in Davao City to face the libel charges against him made by presidential son Paulo Duterte and his brother-in-law Manz Carpio. Moreover, a Davao City court has denied the Justice Department's request to bar the senator's trips abroad. Marlene Alcaide with the story. Tinatanggap ko lang, sinasalo ko lang ang uh, lahat ng mga paghamon na binibigay nila sa akin. Pero darating din ang panahon na sila rin ang tatanggap ng iba't ibang mga hamon. So they should be ready also. This was the message of Senator Antonio Trillanes to presidential son Paulo Duterte and his brother-in-law, Attorney Man Scarpio, after his arraignment at the Davao City Regional Trial Court, Branch 54. The senator pleads not guilty to four charges of libel filed by Paulo Duterte and Scarpio. The charges stem from accusations Trillanes made linking Paulo Duterte and Scarpio to drug smuggling and for alleged extortion of ride-sharing company Uber. Mga harassment cases lang po ito talaga. Um, just to inconvenience me para um, ma-distract ako as a member of the opposition. Kailangan po natin sa isang demokrasya ang miyembro ng opposition para pag may mga pangaabuso, may pangamamalabis uh, ay uh, napupunan natin. Last year, the Davao City Council declared Trillanes persona non grata, which is why the senator was surprised to receive a warm welcome from some Davaoenos. Surprisingly warm. Sa akin kasi, I, I still believe lahat tayo mga Pilipino, yung iba nakakaintindi doon sa ginagawa ko, kaya... Uh, maganda yung pagsalubong uh, pero of course naintindihan din naman natin yung ibang nasasaktan doon sa mga mga pagposisyon ko laban sa administrasyon na to so ganun yan that's how uh, how uh, democracy works in this country in a Facebook post, Paulo Duterte called Trillanes a pathological liar as the senator arrived in Davao City. He also claimed that the senator invented lies to destroy him and his family. The lawyer of Paulo Duterte and Carpus said the case may possibly be resolved if Trillanes issues a public apology that both his clients find acceptable. If uh, Senator Trillanes will humble himself, probably apologize, you'll never know. So uh, that is the object of mediation and of course the uh, complainants, my clients, will uh, agree. A Davao court also denied the Justice Department's request to issue a whole departure order against Trillanes. Davao City Branch 54 Judge Melinda Dayang Hirang said the senator is not considered a flight risk. Trillanes for his part considered this an indication of the court's objectivity and fairness. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News.